Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating a Lomo effect in Photoshop. A Lomo effect is a very cool sort of contrasty weird color effect uh, and it originates from Lomography. Um, and I actually got the idea to do this uh, tutorial, I ought to throw this in up front, from one of the Photoshop guys, that being Matt Kleskowski. He was doing, or I ran into one of his tutorials a couple months ago, I want to say, uh, and he was doing uh, this similar effect, and I thought, hey, I will show how I do mine, and uh, let's see how it goes. So this is how I create the Lomo effect. Now, before we get started as well, uh, this uh, is a musician that I photographed down in Philadelphia I don't know, back in June of 09. And um, he is a hip-hop producer, goes by the name of Alpha Boy, Alpha Boy Music, if I recall correctly. So uh, with all of that stuff behind us, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how I like to create this Lomo effect. Now, I like to go layer, new adjustment layer, and work with adjustment layers. However, um, because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing on the, with my curves adjustment layer, I'm just going to go image, adjustments, curves because that's going to give me a much larger dialog box so you should be able to see what I'm doing a little bit easier. All right, I'm just going to add a slight S curve. All right, that's just going to increase some contrast. Very nice. Then up here under channel, I'm going to choose the green channel and I'm going to create the same uh, same exact S curve on the green channel. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but you know, roughly the same. All right, then we're going to go down to the blue channel and I'm going to create the opposite S curve. So I'm going to pull up on the bottom and pull down on the top. All right, there we go. I have long, you know, created basically that Lomo effect. However, I want to just do one last thing to kind of give it a washed out look. And that's going to be go layer, new adjustment layer. I have to create this as an adjustment layer. New, uh, or excuse me, layer, new adjustment layer and gradient map. I'm going to say, okay, yep, I want a gradient map. Over here on my adjustments panel, it's going to show me a black to white gradient. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. Uh, so I'm going to collapse the adjustment layer panel and I'm going to open up my layers panel. Here's that adjustment layer. I'm just going to set this adjustment layer to overlay and I'm going to reduce the opacity to, you know, down to around like 50. All right, you can see there's without the uh, gradient map, there it is with it. So it really gives it a lot of pop and it really starts to wash the photo out. So that is how you create a simple Lomo effect. Now, what if we want to take it and apply it to this image? Well, we would have to go through creating the curves and all that stuff again. So let's, uh, let's hit F12 here. That's going to revert my image to the way it was when I opened this file. Great. So that, that's actually a good hotkey. F12, it's revert. Same thing under file. Revert right there. Um, what we want to do now, though, is open up our Actions panel, Window Actions, and I just want to create a new action. So just click the New Action button. Wherever you save it, it doesn't matter. I'm just saving it in the default actions. I'm actually probably going to delete it as soon as I finish recording. I'm going to call it Lomo Effect. There we go. I'm going to hit Enter. And as soon as I hit Enter, we are recording. You can see the red button is activated. We're recording. Everything we do in Photoshop is being recorded as of right now. So what we want to do is go Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. And in this case, I am going to work with the Curves Adjustment Layer just so I have that editability later on. Create that simple S-curve in the RGB channel. Choose the green channel. Create that same S-curve. Great. Under the blue channel, create the opposite S-curve. All right, just like so, great. We've done that. Now that we've done that, we're going to go layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map, okay? And with the gradient map, wonderful. We're gonna go into the layers uh, panel, and now to adjust opacity while you're recording, you do not wanna come up here and grab the slider because it's gonna add an action state for every single one point of opacity or one percentage point of opacity you reduce. So we would have like, if we wanted to reduce this to 50, we would have like 50 action states. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type it in here. So I'm going to highlight that and just type 50. And then I'm going to set the layer to overlay. There we go. I'm going to open up my actions panel and I'm going to hit stop. Now that we've done that, let's test out our Lomo effect on this photograph. Now this photograph is going to look a bit different just strictly because of the fact that it's black and white to begin with. But let's go ahead and see what happens. Open up that action, select Lomo effect, click play. And there we go. We have just applied that Lomo effect to a black and white image. Black and white image, color image. So a lot of cool, cool things you can do with this Lomo effect. And once you have the action, you can just bring an image into Photoshop and say, hey, let me try it on this image. Let's see what happens. Takes literally seconds. And voila, you have a very, very cool color and contrast effect. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned a thing or two. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. And uh, if you liked the tutorial, if you didn't like the tutorial, either way, go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Thanks for watching.